Hello everyone, good afternoon. And my name is Mohammed Mustafiz Rahman. I'm working here as an assistant professor in the Department of English in different international university. <coughs> and you all can see that my today's topic is flip classroom, the present phenomenon. This is pretty interesting that what I'm doing now here is totally opposite to flip classroom. Now I'm following the totally traditional lecture-based teacher-centered classroom approach. If I consider this conference room as a classroom, and me as a teacher, and you all, my students, then you will see some interesting facts are happening here. Like the traditional lecture with classes, I'm here giving my boring lectures, and you all are my very much bored, very much bored students. Maybe half of you are half listening to me. Maybe some other are scrolling down their Facebook pages at the back end. Maybe some of you are giving uh, Facebook statuses with a hashtag, like attending an international conference and enjoying very much what actually you are not. You are not actually uh, that much excited about this, I think so. So this is what actually happens in our classroom. We give boring lectures. Students are not actively involved in the learning. They don't listen or maybe half listen. So they're less involved. That's why they learn less. So we think that we should change this old approach. In this phenomenon, flip classroom can be one of the best options for us. I should not say that this is the one and only or the ultimate best one, but it can be a very good positive one for our students. As our Dr. Vinay Gormasa always says that I'm an expert on this, which I'm absolutely not. I have just started reading, learning, and studying this uh, flip classroom approach very recently. So I'll just speak today only what I have read, what I have understood, and what I have studied till now. In a teacher-centered classroom, what happens, the teacher just conveys the information. And in a teacher-centered classroom, the students just listen and then master the materials. Maybe sometimes, for some people, for some students, it is effective. But in this approach, students are merely receptors of the information. They cannot participate in their own learning process. They cannot become active learners. And as a result, they cannot learn properly or effectively. Fortunately, nowadays, technology has emerged increasingly and also entered our classroom. As a result, a new learning model has also emerged that has transformed the teachers of the classroom into a more collaborative, more student-centered, more effective learning place in the form of flipped classroom. So let me explain the concept of flipped classroom. In the traditional learning approach, students acquire knowledge in a classroom contest and are then sent to uh, a way to synthesize, analyze, and evaluate this after the class. On the other hand, in the flip classroom, students actually acquire the knowledge before the class starts and use the classroom time to practice and apply the concepts and ideas through interactions with the peers, with the teachers, and others. And after the class, students work on the feedback that they have received in the classroom and use them to expand their learning more. The main goal of flipped classroom is to enhance students' learning by reversing the traditional model of the classroom. In this approach, the teacher uses the class time on students' understanding 
rather than on lecture. And to accomplish this, what the teacher generally do, the teacher generally posts short video lectures on online platforms like YouTube or Facebook group or pages, Google Classroom, Moodle Classroom, or any other branded platforms. So that the students can view those lectures at home or outside the classroom just prior to their next class. This allows class time to be fully devoted to expanding on and mastering the material through collaborative learning exercises, projects, discussions, and other activities. In this approach, the homework that is typically done at home is actually done in the classroom. And the lectures that are usually done in the classroom are viewed at home. But we should remember that merely flipping the homework and lecture doesn't mean that we are unlocking the benefits of flipped classroom. The true flipped learning is about opening up the class time and transforming it into a more practical, differentiated, and even more personalized learning experiences. One positive thing about this approach is that it suits the bloom takes an object. You can see here that what you generally do in the class that is done at home, and what you generally do out of the class is done in the classroom. So I have a brief history about it. You already know the history of flipped classroom. Uh, the phrase flipped learning came into general use in the year mid-2000s when it was popularized by basically chemistry teachers, John Bergman and Aaron Sams, and obviously by Khan Academy by Mr. Salman Khan. But in fact, the concept of flipped learning goes much, much back. So, let me discuss the four pillars of FLIP, F-L-I-P. Uh, to make sure that we are getting the most out of FLIP classroom, we should keep in mind these four pillars, like F for flexible learning environment, learning culture. Instead of traditional teacher-centered learning, the FLIP classroom puts students at the center of the lesson. And we should need intentional or appropriate content and obviously professional or skilled educators. <coughs> so let me now discuss the benefits of flipped classroom. It gives students more control over the learning. Students may pause and review the lectures, write down the questions they may have, and discuss them with the teachers and peers in the class. As a result, they cannot only improve students' achievement, rather this also improves students' behavior in the classroom. It promotes student-centered learning and collaboration, as I have already said. Flip classroom allow class time to be used to master the skills through collaborative projects and discussions. This encourages students to teach and learn concept from each other and with the guidance of basically of the teacher. It gives more access to lessons and course content. By making video lectures available at all times online, students who have missed any class due to illness or any other emergencies can catch up quickly. And this also gives teachers more flexibility uh, when they themselves are sick or they can avoid retail classes. Parents and guardians uh, also can monitor the academic works and progress of the students because it's an open source. It can also save time. If the works are done properly in due time, in a flip classroom, students can avail more time for their recreations and even for more academic practices. It can 
ensure efficient use of trust. It can ensure efficient use of cluster. Faculty members have more time to interact with the students, clarifying their learning points, and additional learning of jacks can be incorporated, as can active learning also. It promotes active learning opportunities. You can understand that. Uh, it makes scopes, scopes for one one opportunity. It saves lecture time for teachers to student and student to student interaction are possible. Uh, it allows students accountability for learning. Students are charged with coming to the classes fully prepared. And for that reason, they own their own responsibility and accountability for their own learning. Flip classrooms support diversity in students' learning because we can do a lot of activities, different activities, uh, very interesting and creative activities in the classrooms. It allows self-paced learning for students. Students can prepare for class even even where they want, whenever they want, and they can take any time to finish it uh, as long as it is before the deadline. Teachers can dive deep into the subject matter during the class time. Once students have a basic foundation on a certain subject, we can dive deep into the learning material. Therefore, instructors can deliver more in-depth learning materials to those who are looking for a challenge. Teachers can better prepare the students for the test, which is their main goal. While students complete their courses, assignments, exams, and their corresponding results, and statistics are immediately recorded. So instructors can use their statistics to better track the progress of the students and find patterns in their results. It makes it easier to have a clear idea of what topic students individually or in a group are struggling with the most. So it gives them, allows them to know about the progress of the students and such they can uh, try to improve the quality of the students. And faculty members can reuse the lectures, lecture videos especially, whenever they're necessary because they're always in the online. Now I will talk about some of the limitations of flip classroom. As brief as possible. Okay. So there are obvious technical and technological, uh, technology related issues, and it <laughs> can also create a digital divide among the students. It relies on teacher student preparation and trust. There is significant work for the teacher to record the videos to prepare the materials, and so on. So students may have to spend huge time in front of the screens instead of their parents, people, and places. And it is not always made for preparing the students for the test. Maybe it is sometimes can prepare the students for the life as well. So I'm in the final stage. So there are some other issues that we can consider. Like we all know that Every change, as I said, takes time to adopt. But if we are very keen to do it, we can do it overnight. Lack of motivation can hamper the result of the flipped learning. This is maybe not uh, uh, not for every student because 
all students doesn't have the same metacognitive skills. Some may take more time, some may not. So four challenges that I have found, like lack of student discipline, students need to be very disciplined. They need to do the things in time. Otherwise, it cannot be successful. Lack of teaching resources, sometimes we may not have all the resources that we want. Old-fashioned classroom, maybe sometimes we cannot arrange the classes as we want to, to do the activities in the classroom. And as I said, lack of improvements. And my final one, my conclusion. Considering all the factors that I have mentioned about, it can be said that flip classroom is a positive movement in the higher education. Recently, I have done a research in different international universities where I found that their teachers are using this pedagogical strategy to accelerate the students' higher order thinking skill. And students are learning better with more enthusiasm. Well, this method may not work at the elementary level, but it is good for the university level students. But students have to be motivated to do a lot of work at home and on their own. And in the right setting, the flipped classroom can be a great way to dive deeper into the learning materials and efficiently teach students. So, flip classrooms are a very effective, handsome approach to improve students' achievement and involving them in their own life. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.